A recent report concluded that England's rivers are a chemical cocktail of sewage, agricultural waste and plastic. But a special partnership between local people, the water industry and farmers means that even load in the Cotswolds could hold the answers to how the country cleans up its rivers. Since I've been living in, in this valley, we've seen uh, deterioration in the water quality and it's depressing. We've seen decline in numbers of fish, insects, and, uh, and the weed growth that, in the river. The Evenlode's problem pollutant is phosphorus. 28% of it comes from agriculture and land use, but 65% of the phosphorus comes from sewage treatment plants. At certain times of the year, at certain wet winters, for instance, um, we suffer from infiltration. So what happens under those circumstances is that the, the flow um, is designed uh, to spill to, to the environment. Um, but on this particular site, uh, you know, what we've identified is we need to build more capacity so that those hydraulic and physical restrictions are taken out and we can minimise risk. Another part of Thames Water's answer to this issue is a £3 million partnership with local community groups and the environmental charity Earthwatch to help citizen science projects keep track of water quality and provide sophisticated monitoring equipment. So these are our SONS machines. Um, they're automatic monitors and they have a series of probes that go into the water and they take readings on things like pH, uh, tryptophans, biological oxygen demand and dissolved oxygen. So we're going to get the data from the SONS um, look at the historic data from the Environment Agency, as well as our amazing citizen science data that we've collected through um, Earthwatch, it will help inform us about where we need to make changes. So it could be um, looking at stripping out phosphates from the sewage works. Um, it could be looking at making improvements to agricultural runoff or other so sources of pollution. And over in the fields at nearby Bruen Estate, most of the phosphorus is locked in the soil, so a big effort is being put in to keep that from reaching the waterways around the 1,200-acre farm. So the field behind us is the no-till field, so we don't cultivate it, we drill it once a year, harvest it, and then we've excavated a bund around the field that intercept land drains and over, overland flow, um, so it's just to hold the water back really, so any nutrients in it can settle out. Behind us you can see a series of online ponds. The, the stream used to uh, run along the top of the field in a culvert, but we've allowed it to run through, throughout the centre of the field and put three online ponds, which traps the soil runoff and the phosphate um, that is attached to the soil. Water pollution, to be fair, isn't seen as that much of a problem for farmers because you don't tend to, to get fined or anyone pick up on it. So it's very much, a, for me, a sort of personal thing to try and do it properly. The hope is that with projects encompassing all areas of river waste, that there will soon be a cleaner even load. I'd like to see the um, river running clear through the, through the summer with, uh, with wheat growth, fish, children playing, paddling in the river safely, dogs able to swim without getting sick, and, uh, and, and a wonderful wildlife that we should see on all our, all our Cotswold rivers. <laughs>